So I'm gonna do a little um tutorial. guys so yeah i'm gonna do a tutorial don't mind that noise i was just hooking up my wheel i'm only 36 already i just started on a class one so, i'm not doing too bad That won't be what I'm using to drift, obviously, because it's front wheel drive, and I don't feel like swapping it. Well, I also build this. But anyway, it's a tutorial, so I'm going to get into the car that I want to drift. I I don't know how to drift that good, but I know, like, the basics of how to drift. And I'm sure it will help a lot, like, a lot of people. Just because I'm not good. I know, like, good steps on how to drift and stuff. Just because I'm not good, don't mean other people can't use my tips and drive, do like, like, drift better. So I'm just gonna find a car right now and then. Uh, where's my car? Where's my car? Where's my car? Oh yeah, I forgot what car was I driving? Man. I think I'm driving this. I'm not sure. Oh, I know what happened. I think it didn't save. That's what happened. Alright, guys. So, we're going to be building a car now. Because I guess the car didn't save. Oh, well, yeah. Wait. It did save. That looks confusing. Alright. Alright. So, I only made it 468 horsepower. Let me just check some of this stuff. So, I have a racing tape. No fuel system, no, no ignition. I have a muffler on it, I have cams on it. Oh god, no valves, um, stock engine block, no pistons. I think upgraded, no stock turbos. I uh, stock intercooler. I think I'm gonna, no, nah. the bigger intercooler piping, guys, like the bigger intercooler, it makes the car a little more like laggy and sluggish. So try to stay away from big intercooler piping and stuff. You need to be fast. You need to know how to clutch fast and stuff. But anyway, I have upgraded brakes just so you could adjust it. Storm um island suspension. You don't have to do that. You can use regular suspension if you want. Whatever you want to use. And then I have all of this stuff. Weight reduction. I have a clutch upgraded training. I think it's the Storm Island training because quick shift. It's like it's like a it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a uh, sequential gearbox. There you go. It wouldn't come out. It's like a sequential gearbox. So yeah, that's what I have. And I have the don't know how to pronounce that. Ings, whatever, however you would pronounce that. Bumper stock wing upgraded. It don't, that doesn't matter. I have a I think it's a 2J or RB. I forgot. I think it's a 2J though. Sounds like a 2J. I have a 2J engine in it. No, it's an RB actually lied. I have an RB26 engine in it. Sucks they don't lie. Well, I'm not sure. I think I'm not sure. I feel like they don't though because I should have done it already. So I built this yesterday just to it. I'm drifting this mode. I'm using the wheel so I might not be like as good if I was using the controller but I don't care I need to go over here ah whatever I'll fast travel no I'm good wait I 
I think I know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drive there. I'm gonna go down here. Like to learn how to drift, I think it's a good spot to go. Turn right. I think to learn how to drift is a great place to go. Like by the on the dock, I think. I'm using the um ooh. okay I got all my skill points. I did all the perks. Anyway, like I said, I'm using the um steering wheel. So it's uh, obviously a lot harder than a controller. Because you, know, you gotta move quick. And I had the clutch and um shifter and everything for the G25 with the converter. You gotta know how to shift fast and stuff and turn fast. I don't have the best setup right now, so Car is only almost a 500 horsepower car, so doesn't have the most horsepower in the world, but it still feels good on stock um, tires. Upgraded rims. I think they're widening a little bit. Yeah, like I said, I'm not too good with the steering wheel. A lot better with the controller, but I'm trying to get used to using the steering wheel, so I'm going to try to demonstrate with the steering wheel today. In my opinion, this car is pretty nice for how much horsepower it has. I come in here and I do like either drift around this thing for a while. Wow. I realize it doesn't have a lot of power, so force is kind of useless for it. It just stops, it kind of messes you up because you lose a lot of tire spin with it. I did not mean to go into first just a while ago. I'm using manual with clutch by the way. To me, it's easier if you could um, clutch it whenever you want. You can pop the clutch and get a side lead. So I'm better like on this, but like open street, I'm not that good with the steering wheel. But basics like this, I'm alright. And like when I said, for a car with this amount of horsepower, it's pretty good. I think you should do it, like wherever you are. Yeah, fucking do it. It's pretty good. I had roll cage in it, as you can see, for no reason at all. I don't even race it, but I only drift it, but I mean, it's whatever. I built it yesterday. Right. Do whatever I want to do with it. Oh, I'm gonna show you my, my tuning setup. So, my tuning setup is um, after tires, I drop the pressure and put it high pressure in the back one because it doesn't have a lot of horsepower. So, when you do that, it makes the tires spin a lot better. Like, more pressure, the tires are not as. I don't know, they just spin better. And for the front, I dropped it that way, it kind of hugs to the corners better. And for the back, it just wherever it wants to go. That gearing, you don't got to follow that. But just make sure your third, second, and first is not too far apart. That way, when you shift, you don't lose power a lot. And then for camber, I have a little bit of camber on both. Nah, yeah. I only have weird camber right here because, you know. That's just how I feel better, like best with. Like this is retarded. I don't know why I have my setup like that, but to me it feels good. So it's whatever. I don't really care. But the front I have completely soft anti-roll bars. The springs I have whatever. Just copy that. 
You can pause it and copy my hoop setup. I really don't care. And then for the rebound st stiffness, I have soft in the front. Just so, like, you know, when you drift, I know a lot of people probably get annoyed just like I do. And the car is, like, so snappy. So when you swerve and stuff, it, like, snaps back to one way. Like, the car, I don't know. It, like, so I have that completely soft. That way it doesn't snap that hard. Like, you know what I mean? When you go like this and the car just snaps out of the way. When you don't have a lot of power, you don't really got to worry about that. And when you stiffen it, I mean, loosen the front. As you can see, this setup is pretty nice, it's alright. I mean, it does still spin around with you, even though it has a little bit of horsepower. Like, in Forza 4, I used to drift like a thousand horsepower, um, all seasons. And Sylvia's. But... This one, I mean, for this, for the amount of horsepower it has, this car feels terrific. So, if you need to copy it to learn how to drift off of it, so you can't, I don't really care. Just like a little small tutorial. I mean, there's 11 minutes long right now, but I don't know why I did that. Anyway, yeah. Over here is pretty cool. Just you can just go like any which way you want. So I'm gonna go straight, make this right, and then go around. Like I said, I usually drift like this. I know more people. Some people is comfortable like this, but. For me, I mean, I like this, but I only see a lot of it. see a lot of the front of the car, and exactly where your nose is. You know what I mean? And all about my shifting, I just shift whenever I want to kick the back out a little bit more, or whenever I'm running out of gear like that, like that. I just kick the back out. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Sometimes I'm going to third and staying there for less than two seconds. Like I just did again. Power. I'm sorry, this feels a lot noisy because of my wheel. That noisy here is just a while ago was um, shifting. The pedals. So yeah. What I do is, when I go in the corner, sometimes I just pop the clutch or kind of just give it gas and turn sideways in time, like that. Or I do this thing called, I call the um, power wiggle. Um, no, I don't call it that. I was a lie. Anyway, that's what it seems like to me. Kind of just give it gas and just kind of score and kick the back out. Like, I'm demonstrating over here. Anyway, please don't use the word power wiggle. I don't know what the hell that means. Sounds kind of... A little difficult on like I'm out here. Oh, it's just a lot better. Like, just while I just pop the clutch, let the back come around. I mean, I'm horrible. I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of people that's a lot better than me. That's why I, said. I mean, with the like the with the controller, it should be a lot easier for some people, but then a lot harder for some too. Only because controller is you could turn the whole the car wheel in a whole opposite direction with a movement of a thumb. With this, I gotta be fighting it and turning the like turning the whole wheel, and it's set at like 700 degrees right now. So yeah, so I gotta turn it pretty far. So you gotta kind of watch it, cause this car, even though it has a little bit of horsepower, it's still like, it'll still come around with you. But it does feel pretty good, so. It's worth it. If you want to get the real feeling of drifting and stuff, when it is safe to do so. get this car. Maybe I'll try to get a car meet video soon. Or just a cruise or something in this game. Or a GTA. We do them a lot. Well, me and my friend do them a lot in GTA. So nice, and they're actually like pretty good too most of the time. Nice cars, not really, not too much bullshit, you know. So it's usually not bad. Don't go into fourth like that, okay? But that's just not fun. Unless you have a million home cars. See, a lot of turbo school, but it's not going to work. Not enough torque in fourth gear. Clutch kick. Second. 
I do, and I feel like if I come around to third, I go back to second. When I need more power in second, I go to third, and then go back to second. Like that. It's not hard or easy, but I'm gonna end this video soon because I don't want to do it with 30 minute videos that I have. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Don't do that and lose all your points. I mean, I didn't lose them, but I'm just telling you, don't do it. And I would suggest you do get your points up in here only because when you're on the street, there's people who just come drive and ram into you for no reason. And then you lose all like the points. Yesterday I lost like 30k points, skill points, skill chain points, whatever you want to call them. But I don't care because I have all my perks, like what I said. So, I mean, I still I care. It gets me mad and not think about it. I'm like, wait, I have all my perks. Oh god, don't do that either. Okay, or well, you can if you want, but don't do it. If you do it, I never told you so. Remember. Don't do that either. It's just all about the power and the bad. Okay, I did not think I was that close. It's all about the power and the bad wheels. So I don't know when I'm gonna update this video. I mean, uh, upload this video. I'm really not sure. It's the 23rd today. No, I'm outside. That's why I'm really bored of making this video. And when it's like snowy outside in your house, it feels so nice. And the nice heat. But yeah, like I said, I don't know when I'm, up when I'm uploading. Maybe I try to upload it tonight. Maybe not. This gearbox feels pretty good, though. So, I mean, I would suggest going with this whole setup. You can drift this, then you should go a little bit less horsepower or more. I remember I, I wasn't able to drift this. I was able to drift like a 700 horsepower BMW. But since I got used to this now, it's pretty nice. Sometimes a little bit hard to drift on um, these, only because a lot more shifting, shifting and e-braking like right now. That was pretty nice. A lot more shifting and e-braking. So with lower, lower horsepower cars, it's gonna be a little bit easier, but then hard at the same time because a lot more shifting, like I keep saying. Yeah. And once you do that, the tuning setup I have, your front end and stuff will feel so nice. Like, see what I mean? This feels so good. So close. That was so close. Oh my god. Turn around when it's safe to do so. Oh yeah. That was so close. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this video like right here. And then maybe I'll do a review of one of my cars soon. Maybe I'll do a meet. I'll record a meet in GTA or Forza. So yeah. I don't have Forza 6 yet. Maybe I probably won't get it. I'll see. I want to wait and see what Forza 3 is going to be like whenever they release it. So, yeah. There's rumors that it's going to be released soon, though. So, 